so I'm Chris Andrews, and um, my goal in life has always been to learn whatever that is. So that's an open-ended question. I've worked in adult retraining. I've had my own business off and on, different kinds of things. I've done health and safety. I've built a boat, um, traveled a bit, and uh, I'm really, really interested in people as my main focus. When I was a kid, I came to Nova Scotia and I just loved the ocean and I've always loved the ocean. And I lived inland and I thought, well, I have to be by the water and I wanted to be an oceanographer, but uh, that couldn't happen. Uh, that's another story. But I wrote a letter to the government when I was starting high school and said, what should I study to be an oceanographer? And they said, well, uh, you should, you can't be an oceanographer because women can't go on boats, so you have to be a lab technician. And, uh, you know, it was back to the old, there's no washrooms on, no female washrooms or something like that. Right? So, so with uh, what I know now, there was some old fart sitting at a desk in Ottawa who got this, you know, was supposed to answer kids' letters. And uh, I didn't have enough political knowledge or power, and neither did the people around me to, to say, well, that's ridiculous. So I thought, well, I have to do it my own way then. I have to get a boat. And uh, so that was kind of the start of it, to go to sea. And uh, it was a long project, and uh, it got finished, and I went sailing for a few years. And I was, I guess, pretty stubborn or determined. You know, at what point do you quit? There's a lot of times when you want to quit, but you just... Once you've started, you might as well keep going. And all I've ever done was tried to create a safe learning atmosphere for them. So I would always have a rule of my number one rule was you're in charge of yourself and number two, no put downs. And by saying that, then people suddenly for the first time don't have shots and sarcasm and, and uh, silliness that I think they learn a lot from from television. I remember watching Johnny Carson when I was a kid and everything was eye rolling and put down. So that's a, a you know toxic machoism that we indulge in and uh, if you put those swords down then you can um, uh, suddenly feel safe together and share your heart feelings I think. Is I work on home sharing. I've always done home sharing and I had a rooming house for 20 years with all kinds of awesome people and it worked out. It was amazingly uh, fun and, and a good experience. We've kept in touch with most of those people and now here I see a huge need for housing and home sharing and it's a skill that people are really lacking. They have no clue how to trust each other and they hear worst case scenario from TV or, or whatever. And, and even if a person wants to do it, their friends or relatives will say, oh, that's, that's crazy, you can't do that. What if they steal your money or <laughs> what if something? And um, personally, from my experience, like I've had over 55 tenants and not had a bad day with it, nothing but really good experiences. So uh, I practice home sharing and I, I keep trying to spread the message to people to, to enable them to share a little space, which helps us to, to save some of our fuel costs and our resources. And with that goes ride sharing and lawnmower sharing or <laughs> whatever else. Yeah, people don't need uh, 10 lawnmowers in 10 houses. They can have uh, five lawnmowers and help each other fix them, right? So, yeah. so I, I guess sharing is my big thing that I work on. I've, I I've usually had a truck and trucks aren't green. So my deal with the universe is that I offer people my truck and I'll help them move their compost or move their house or move whatever they want um, so that it, the truck doesn't just belong to one or two people, it belongs to a whole bunch of people.